Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Mr. Jasper is right here in the intro. He just jumped up on my TV stand. But my name is Ashley, I am a full-time reseller and I go shopping at the Goodwill bins, mainly the Goodwill bins, like 99% of the time. That's where I get my inventory from. And I look for items, clothing in particular, that I can resell online for a profit on places like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. I've also been doing some in-person markets. I've done two so far and I have another one on the books already for September and I'm just so excited. But today I have another Goodwill bins haul for you guys. I went last week, I think I went twice. Yeah, I went Monday and then I also went Wednesday. These pieces are from Wednesday. Actually, these pieces are from when I filmed my thrift with me, which was one of my last videos. I will pin it up at the top. If you have not seen it yet, definitely go check it out. But I know I got a lot of clips in that video, but I also feel like I didn't show you guys a lot of items as well. So today's haul is going to be items from that day and I'm going to be going in more in depth. And in that video, I said I paid 86 cents per item, but I actually paid 88 cents per item, which is still amazing. Definitely cannot be paying under a dollar per item. So let's just jump right into it. This first piece is probably one of my favorite pieces. And honestly, like, I don't know how I'm not going to keep it. Look at this sweater. Oh, my gosh somebody literally threw this to me actually i feel like i got this in a clip like this one t-shirt bro which i hate calling them that but that's what he is he literally looks for t-shirts he's real cool though like we talk and anyways at one point we were digging through the same bin and he was flipping through and he threw this kind of to me not on purpose but i'm like oh my gosh that sweater yes and he was like okay there's more coming but look at this like he was not interested but i i'm speechless this kind of celestial star moon sun oh my gosh knit sweater this is a women's size large this is what the tag looks like vintage i did sweater shave this a little bit it did have a decent amount of pilling but i did sweater shave it and i feel like it looks so so good i'm gonna be listing this around 35 dollars. i'm just obsessed i love this piece and I really think somebody else is going to love it too. And I feel like that's going to sell really quickly. Now this piece, you guys, my friend Cassie actually found and gave to me. I think this was in a clip as well, but these are a pair of vintage Y2K. They were made in 2001. Says it right on the tag. Gap little girls shorts. But look at this embroidery, you guys. Oh my gosh like i cannot get over these these are my daughter's size size eight but i decided i'm just going to sell them because paisley really does not like jean shorts although she did wear them yesterday but she really does not wear jean shorts she is a biker short type of girl which i cannot blame her even though today i'm wearing jean shorts but you know i we love to be comfy around here so i don't feel like she would get a lot of wear out of these and I would love to rehome them to somebody who would. But just look at the detailing on this with the flowers, the butterflies. Maybe I should actually price these a little up. I mean, there's beading in this embroidery here at the waistband with the flowers. And this is what the tag looks like. These are girl size 8. Y2K. I actually found a bunch of Y2K gap pieces this day. I showed it in the thrift with me. It was like incredible. I just kept finding it. But if you look under the size tag, it tells you the year, January 20, or not 2021, yeah, January of 01, which is 2001. So literally 23 years ago, these were made, which is wild. I mean, they really don't make clothes like this anymore. So I'm going to be listing these around $25. Nothing crazy, but you know, $25 is, I feel like a decent amount for kid shorts. And I'm thinking maybe I'll even price them up at like $28. I just cannot get over this embroidery. It is just beautiful. So this I showed quickly in a clip, but this is a vintage Pretty sure it's the Olympics, even though it doesn't have Olympics. It says USA on it, competitor, track and field. Also, some other people I heard this day found some Olympic t-shirts, which I thought was so cool, especially because the Olympics are going on right now. But track and field, I don't know, thought this was so cool. This is a youth size extra large, 1820, made in the USA. It also says fun graphics, ink. And then on the bottom says the size made in the USA. This is in pretty good condition. There is a small mark 
on the one sleeve otherwise in really really good condition i'm gonna be listing that around 33 dollars now these are the four gap pieces that i found i don't think i found any more i did find one i remember in a clip in the thrift with me that i ended up throwing back because there was a stain i also found another one in the thrift with me that was kind of dingy also was pretty plain so i threw that back as well but I did keep a handful of them and they don't go for a lot like a ton of money but I'm gonna be listing pretty much all of these for $28 each so this is what this one looks like it is a super thick like super soft again they don't make clothes like this anymore it is just so soft a thicker kind of knit it kind of reminds me of a waffle knit almost that's what the tag looks like this is a men's size small I originally thought about lotting three of these up because three of these are a men's size small one is a size medium and then I'm like you know what I'm gonna try to list them together if they don't sell together then I will go ahead and lock them up and if somebody wants to buy all of them I will definitely give them a good deal but I just love the stripe detailing that is so Y2K to me so this is a light beige color with an olive green this one is a gray color with the stripes down the sleeves which I really love I feel like that's so Y2K and then also has striping down each side again super thick kind of reminds me of like waffle knit kind of ribbed this one is a size small again now some of these have a year on them some of them don't this one doesn't let me see if this one does i know some of them did yeah this one does wait a minute no that one didn't either this one did but look you guys look all the same vibe this one is a beige color with a navy blue this one's a size small okay this one didn't but this one did <laughs> I promise this one did did it yeah this one says fall of 2000 and has that same type of tag but yeah this one again super thick kind of sweater material super soft this one is also a size small so those three i'm gonna be listing around 28 dollars this one because it's more of a t-shirt instead of a sweater although again it is a thicker t-shirt material it is so soft i mean they don't make clothes like this anymore this one's a size medium and like I said, oh, it says made in the Northern Mariana Islands of the USA. That's pretty cool. Actually, are these made in the US? I didn't even notice that. Yes. Wow. Okay. This one's made in China. This one is made on the Marina, however you say that, island of the USA. And then this one, Guatemala. <laughs> Okay, so the ones that are made in the USA, I'm gonna have to put that in the title. I feel like that definitely helps it. This one, I love the green. I feel like that's so Y2K. Like, I feel like my brother had this when we were growing up. Like, literally, I feel like he had this exact t-shirt. <laughs> but anyway, this one I'm gonna be listing around $24. So just a couple dollars under the other ones. This is another sweater, you guys. I've mentioned this quite a few times, but I'm definitely changing gears, switching, and focusing on the fall and winter weather items, which is kind of sad. It means that summer's almost over, but it's also exciting because it means that sales should be picking up. Also, I love sweaters. I can't say no to sweaters, so like this is my time of year. I love reselling in the fall and winter time, but this is a PSU, Penn State University. I've been finding so much Penn State stuff. I live in Pennsylvania, so... Oh my god i thought that said i just had a tart i just had a heart attack i thought i was not recording for a second oh my god i was gonna have an absolute freaking breakdown if i found out i was not filming anyway i live in pennsylvania so you know psu penn state the football team is a pennsylvania football team so i find a lot of penn state items and people love it i've been finding a lot of vintage items which this is gear for sport is the brand men's size medium now this is in really good condition for it being white there is a small spot right here if you guys can see that i don't even know if you could see that otherwise in really really good condition this i'm going to be listing around 39 dollars. this is really thick chunky soft knit i absolutely love that this i really don't pick up scrub tops anymore i used to but unless they're figs they really don't sell for me like right now i have a couple listed that are like disney i, I don't know why i picked them up before like why they sell for very little money and they usually sit but this Halloween one I figured I would pick up I figured it would sell pretty quickly especially if I'm getting it listed early 
like I am. It's about to be August in two days. So this is a Halloween little cat theme. Size extra large as well. It is also older, I believe. So that's kind of cool. This I'll only be listing around $17, but I'm hoping it sells quickly. Hopefully somebody will scoop it up for that full asking price and that will make my day. Here's another sweater, you guys. This is vintage men's size, extra large, made in the USA. Pine State is the brand. I say this all the time. You're probably sick of hearing me say it if you watch my videos a lot, but brand typically does not matter when it comes to vintage clothing. Now, of course, if you find a really good brand that's vintage, like it's going to help it. But for this, for instance, I didn't pick it up because the brand is Pine State. I picked it up because of the style. It is a wool blend, argyle print, v-neck, preppy, grandpa style. You know, I feel like you can even use the word grunge on this. Like so many keywords you could use. And somebody asked me in one of my videos, they commented and they said, there's only three options on Poshmark for keywords. Like where do you put all your keywords? Because for this, for instance, I have more than three keywords that I'm going to use and they don't all fit my title. I can't put them all in the tags, like in the style tags. You know what I mean? Like some platforms like Depop let you put five, but Poshmark only lets you three, do three. So what I do, and I actually learned this from Kaylee Elaine, so I cannot take credit. I freaking adore her. Like she is so knowledgeable and I have learned so much from her alone. But anyway, I put some more keywords in my description, like ones that I cannot fit in my title or in the drop downs, in the tags. I put in my description because in some platforms, not eBay, unfortunately, I think Poshmark you can, Depop, I believe you can, and I think Mercari as well. Do not quote me on that. But some platforms search by the description as well. So I will literally list in my description. It will say style profile, and then I will just list the keywords. Bohemian, hipster, grandpa, Y2K, cottagecore, art to wear, wearable art. You know, any keyword that I want to put in there. Now, all those aren't for this, you know what I mean? But any keyword that I want to put in there, I put in my description. Like I said, every platform does not search by the description. I definitely put the most important keywords in my title. But just in case you were curious, because I'm always throwing out keywords, and obviously you can only fit so many in a title because there's only 80 characters in a title allowed. So I put my extras in my description box. This next one is another really funky sweater. I love this. Oh my goodness. Kind of geometric. Also has a checkered print at the bottom. Again, vintage. This brand is Magna Force, a men's size 2XL, made in the USA again. That's what the tag looks like. I love the size. This one's in really, really good condition. That dark blue and black. This I'll be listing around $35. This piece, you guys, is so adorable. I don't think I showed this one in my haul. I have a very similar one as well. But this is a vintage. Just the brand is Mini Jez. Kid size, 24 months, I think this is. Yeah, it could feel like a 2T. Little Aztec fleece quarter snap. T-snap pullover. I'm going to be listing that around $22. I love listing pieces like that. If that was a grown-up size, I feel like it would do so well. A grown-up size. So this actually pulled from our, my market finds i figured i would show you guys real quick or not market finds from things that i was trying to sell at my market that i decided to not sell at my market this past time because i had limited rack space i actually showed this before but in probably months ago this is by the brand beeline fashions faux suede is actually a hundred percent cotton it says do not dry clean machine wash but yeah faux suede little tie front vest women's pockets boho western vibe i'm gonna be listing that around 28 dollars now these you guys i'm just gonna show real quick i did show these in my little thrift with me but i love these I'm gonna show them again because they just go for so much money and if you did not know definitely keep your eye out for vintage oshkosh baby overalls these are a pair of corduroy ones little ruffle butt like are you actually kidding corduroy floral ruffle butt they have buttons up the front they also say oshkosh bagosh vest back which can add value people love that and i put that in my title these are made in the usa these ones i believe are an 18 month 12 month these ones are a size 12 month on the back it says made in the usa which i try to put in my title even if i just can fit usa 
and then put USA made in my description like it definitely helps this exact pair I saw sold for $47 in my thrift with me with me I said $54 that was a lie. I did put the picture up. But this exact pair sold for 47 something. Now they can go for $50. I once sold a pair for $200. That was a fruit print. It really depends on the style. You know, there is more of the floral ones like this. But I'm going to be listing mine around $59. Which is just mind blowing for a little baby pair of overalls. But there are collectors. There are people that just buy this stuff to collect it. It's it's actually mind blowing. And then this is also a pair of little vintage Oshkosh short alls, the little short overalls. These also say vest back on the back. These are made in the USA as well. These are size 2T, 3T, which is a bigger size, made in the USA. And these ones I'll be listing around $39. You know, I cannot get as much for the short ones as I feel like you can the long ones, but still $39 like I expect to sell them for at least 30 that's that's wild to me this is actually the last three pieces are all kids pieces this is a little y2k nike puffer jacket honestly these don't have a great sell through rate but I'm hoping because I have it listed early enough that it should sell pretty quickly this was made it says on the tag in April of 2002 one I keep wanting to say 2021 no 2001 18 months is the size little Nike puffer spell out there and then it has the swoosh on the back which I loved not gonna get a ton for that again but I think I'm listing that around $24 this I absolutely love this is in such good condition and again if this was a grown-up size a grown-up size that's funny if this was an adult size it would go for so much more but this is ll bean made in the usa kid size 2t little t snap quarter snap fleece pullover i love this winter print kind of sled hats trees kind of winter christmasy print i love this this feels like it was never born like i don't understand i just don't understand but this i'll be listing around 29 dollars and then last but not least is this adorable little girl's jacket. I love the pastel. Like these pastel colors just are so nostalgic to me. Brings me back to my childhood as well as the line. Like just the lining in this. I don't, I don't know. Just something about these windbreakers that are lined just is nostalgic. Is that weird? I don't, it just brings me back to the 90s when I was born and raised. But this is by Rolf's Child. Didn't really pick it up because of the brand, although this is a decent brand. This is a girl size 5'6". I did note in my listing description that there's a name there. Not a big deal at all. It's just on the tag. And yeah, I just... I absolutely love this. That'll be listing around $28. I always list a little bit higher than what I actually expect to get because I'm constantly having 10% sale in my eBay store. I'm always sending offers, receiving offers. So I try to leave some cushion room, some wiggle room in all of my listings. So if you're thinking like, wow, $28 for that, that's pretty high. I don't expect to get $28, although that would be nice. You never know. I might, you know, some comps are actually selling for around $28 for that brand. So I actually technically list kind of mid range, but I list a little bit higher than what I expect to get, if that makes sense. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of this video. That is everything I have to show you today. Probably will have another haul for you soon. I try, I don't know if I'm going to haul anything from the rest of this trip. I'm unsure. I believe I'm going back to the bins tomorrow. As long as I wake up feeling okay, I have been feeling kind of under the weather these past two days like yesterday i literally lounged around the house all day it was sunday but that's still very rare for me i edited a video and that's really about it like i didn't photograph i didn't even list anything yesterday which kind of made me feel bad but try not to feel guilty about it because i really think my body is just telling me to slow down like i mentioned this in my ship with me video but I feel like I just keep adding things to my plate and then I wonder why I'm so tired and worn out. Like, it's not like I can add hours to my day. You know what I mean? Like I keep adding things to my plate, but I'm not adding time to my day and I need to just stop. I need to slow down. Like I can't do everything by myself and I'm truly 
starting to feel burned out a little bit and I don't want to that's the thing like and I'm trying to fight it and I feel like the best way for me to fight the burnout is to actually do some self-care like do something for myself for once which is kind of hard you know especially because I'm a single mom I feel like my world including two little humans worlds are all on my shoulder like our lives are all on my shoulders and my shoulders alone and that can get exhausting being a single mom on top of you know being a business owner I run this business by myself I don't work another job I don't work at a normal you know quote unquote normal nine to five corporate job anything like that so like so much is riding on my shoulders alone and I feel like the weight is just starting to get a little bit heavy but also at the same time like I said I keep adding these to my plate like for instance in-person markets like four months ago I wasn't even thinking about them or doing them and so I've kind of allowed myself to one, not put so much pressure on how many items I'm listing a day, as long as I'm listing at least five every day, which is like wild. That is not a lot. Uh, but I would love to list at least 10. Today I listed 10. Tomorrow I have 10 scheduled, which is amazing. But I'm trying not to put pressure on myself, especially around the market times. Like I had a market this past weekend. I didn't do that well at it, but a lot of my focus was on that for a couple of days. So obviously I cannot focus on my online listings as much but that's why I delist and relist you know it's not like I'm just completely taking a break from my online stores but anyways you guys I'm so sorry for this ramble fest I did not even expect that to happen but I've just been feeling kind of tired kind of burnt out and kind of just like <sighs> I'm trying to get my groove back on but I also need to remember like girl slow down a minute your body is literally trying to tell you to slow down. Like, I feel like crap. I'm tired. Like, and that's another thing. Like, I feel like, okay, I've been so busy that I haven't even gone to the gym in like five days. And I'm like, I want to go on a walk this afternoon. But at the same time, like, do I even want to? I'm so exhausted. But then if I don't, I feel bad. Like, girl, you're so lazy. You haven't gone to the gym in days. But at the same time, I need to listen to my body. Like, there's only so much I can do. And if you're ever feeling like this, I just just know you're not alone like it's gonna be okay try to get a little bit of self-care in every day like try to do at least one thing for yourself every day just one thing if that's all you can fit in just one thing more would be ideal but anywho guys I am gonna stop rambling now I'm gonna fold this stuff up I'm gonna I was gonna say I'm gonna get these listings done but I actually already listed everything that I showed you which is amazing so I think I might actually go on that little walk even if it's you know just a mile little walk like I I need to get my body moving yesterday was like I was on the couch all day so I feel like that's also part of my problem like I'm just I'm not moving a lot these past couple days anywho you guys I promise I'm done rambling now thank you so much if you made it to the end I freaking appreciate you thank you so much if you keep returning to my videos no matter how chaotic they are I appreciate you so much I hope you're enjoying your summer the little bit that we have left I'm definitely trying to I'm going to the beach in a couple weeks so really excited about that much needed little trip that I'm gonna be able to kind of shut off my brain for and shut off my business for which is gonna be nice but anyway you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you on my next one